Good morning, this is Calamity Calling, and I believe that Hank is becoming an android ally, because in the last episode, when I let the two bots go, or didn't shoot one of them, his liking of Connor shot straight up. It was... I don't fully understand why. We also, with Marcus and the gang, uh, <laughs> We raided the Cyberlife factory, we got a whole truck full of parts, and we got all the blue blood um, the aristocracy could possibly hope to hoard, and it was overall a very positive episode, if you ignore like the, the murder and the autoerotic asphyxiation. Oh, it's 1am. Oh yes, the, the creepy man, his assistant. Us. Oh, and all of his oogie boogies that he'd made came out of the... Aw, that's cute. She tied her hair up. Uh... These people we're going to see... How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. I'm sorry. Alice? Can I talk to Alice? Hey Alice. Hey sweetie. Oh, I can't say hi to you. Um. Car? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Damn, and this thing doesn't look cheap either. Wait, is he not driving? No, how strange. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Thank you. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. What's the this problem? doesn't look good. Oh, that's fancy. Stay inside, Alice. Unless someone deliberately did it. Hmm, is there anyone around? Just because I'm suspicious. These look like, um... What, is it a little Toyota Panda or this Panda or something is it called that it looks like a little cube on wheels? What are we going to do? I don't know. Gosh. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. I don't know what that means. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. I use Fahrenheit. No, degrees Celsius, sorry. Stay around here, Karen. I'll find somewhere. Um. Oh, no, okay, it's not on that side. What about up here? This looks like a thing. I love her coat. This has an arrow going inwards. Pirates Cove Amusement Park. Over there. I wonder if it was deliberate the stop, as in they didn't, it made them stop here. Because this is sus. Very, very sus. Ah, what is it about things that bring joy during the day? Oh, I just noticed the skeleton in the cage. Causing nightmares at night. We need to find shelter. We have to, have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Is there a haunted house anywhere? Is 
so if I go up and to the uh, forward to the right and then up cool forward to the right and then up there should be a princess castle hello I feel like there are going to be abandoned androids here find anything no no place we could spend the night uh, there was the princess castle expecting it at the moment. Um, hi. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Oh, okay. Don't like that. That's creepy. Ugh, his eyes look like he had cataracts too. Um... This? Not an abandoned This place is falling apart. But you made me jump! It's not gonna be easy. Easy to find shelter. I know. I know, believe me. What's this? Abandon hope will ye who enter? Look safe inside. this over here. I just want to have a look at everything first. Fine, we can enter the abandoned store. Alice is probably freezing anyway. Yoink! I'll handle this. Thank you. Oh, damn! Well done! Oh. Here we go. Thank you! Looks safe enough. For now. I don't think we'll find anything better. Settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Oh. Okay. Let's have a look over here, see what we can do. We can use it as a blanket. Yoink. And there's a pillow. What else did I see over here? There was I'm stuff. Make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Thank you. Here you go, Alice. It's not perfect, but it'll it's better than nothing. Alice? Oh. 
Oh, she's looking at the happy family picture. Just checking that it's working. Hey Alice. Oh no, it's sad to see someone who has everything you want. Bless you. Hey Alice. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Maybe. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family, but maybe we can be our own family. Aww. Be happy in our own way. That's so sweet. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Sweetheart. You are so sweet. Let's get you to bed. You are a chocolate truffle, you are. that over here. Hang on, there's something down here. Keep it, Alice will like it. Oh. Huh. I didn't know I didn't notice that on the floor before. <laughs> that rhymed. I'm a poet and I know it. Soon. I'm going to speak to him first. Oh, never mind. I can't. But I know it's in there. That's asking me to read that, but I've already read it, so instead I'm going to kneel with Alice. Give her some comfort. She's so starved of affection. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. A unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but the shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Then she met a robot who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Guardian. Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy ending. She deserves they reach one. reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Mm, it's not, but you can try. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? <laughs> come yes. on. You're included too. Yes, of course.
still part of this little family too now. Nothing you can do about it. Good night, Alice. Mm -hmm. Sleep tight. Oh. Ah, you're one of us now. Please don't do something to change that. She's a sweet girl. Yeah, she is. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Kara. Have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Mm. No. No, what are you talking about? Kara! And it's like her? What do you know about her? Stop! One more step and I'll shoot! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in the... Oh, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Oh, fine. Hang on, let me grab the. No, I I wanted to grab the torch. All right, sweetheart, let's go have some fun. But we've got a long day tomorrow, so we can't stay up too long. It's sad that they've just been abandoned. Be our guest. Oh, they just want to fulfill their purpose. That meaning. Oh. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Come on, sweetheart. On you get. What do you want to ride on? You want the seahorse? Or you want the carriage? Remember, you have to wrap your leg round and hold on tight. Oh, they're so happy just to have a reason. Oh, she is such a dear heart. I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Oh, I could cry. I'm so happy. One moment of magic.
Why is it all going to go downhill from here? Oh. Group enjoyed a quiet moment. Oh. Oh, if I left the bag alone, that would have been right. Well, that wasn't the choice. Ah, oh, interesting. Most people questioned. Not fired a warning shot. Ah, oh, I see. No, wait, hang on. People have the gun. They notice the gun. They just choose not to. Ah, oh, interesting. Hank, friend. Hank just needs a moment. He likes jazz, so why does he listen to rock? Did his son, his partner, like? Oh. You're wasting fuel, by the way. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Market predicts war. Ah, oh, God. Please tell me it's not hair of the dog right now. If it works, it works, though. Hey, Hank. You alright? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Three. Before what? Hmm? There we go. You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just Maybe. you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's, That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9 what they have been in every common location. is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. They need Androids to believe believing in something. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's have this what world they coming to? You seem mm -hmm. preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed... It was love. In love. That's why he was happy. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. That's you sad. Shot those You're two more girls, than a toaster. Didn't. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? 
Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? There's only a chance Oblivion? I'll die. A one in five Android and heaven? Four? You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Not really. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and I what I am not. I don't have COVID. I did my test. Oh, friend Where Parker are you going? Interesting. Get drunker. Good say. I need to think. Now I'm curious what the other option was. Okay. Um. Oh, bless me. Oh, bless me. Yeah. I can't wait for my hair to either grow or for me to cut it because this 90s boy band haircut is not doing it for me. I didn't think it would grow out this shape. Uh, Shofia, most did. Hank is placated. Usually was. And Hank left corner. Oh, what's the last option? What are we back to today? Jericho is respected. Interesting. He should probably get a different outfit. Or is he also deviating? He's following. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. To take it. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where Ooh, we need to go. Ooh, heist. I said this was my heisting jumper. The that long? Oh, smart. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh, he's so smart in his suit. I feel like my kid's on their first day at school. I'm so proud of him. Okay, so I'm trying to get to the floor something or other. May I speak to you, miss? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Hmm. There's a daughter. What am I looking at here? Elizabeth, that's her name. 
smartwatch. Could call her. Parking badge, useful. Water service interruption, so she's not going to have to. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Um. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Dum da dum. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Dum da dum. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. I like that system. There's something else here though, but nothing else is glowing yellow. Um, okay, thank you! I wasn't sure how to do the thing myself, but I appreciate that. Um, right, swipe the doohickey, I am trying to go somewhere. Please do not get in this elevator with me. It is unnecessary for you to do as such. Nothing out here. Boop. Hang on. Push. Oh, I like that display. This breakfast looks fancy. 47th floor. Men's bathroom, where is it? Oh, nope, that's the cafeteria. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for... Oh, it's the cafeteria in both ways. Um, server room. Excuse me, where's the bathroom? Ah, so there is a camera. That's what you're telling me. Is this the men's bathroom? Aha! Bathroom! Yes, that is what I need. I need the men's bathroom. Is this for men? I don't recognise what the pictures mean. Ha! Huh, so they are all taken, that's why they're green. That's a useful little feature, isn't it? I like the way the head moves. I would like the bathroom, please. The cameras are going to notice if I go in. Oh, I thought that was something else for a minute. You need to hide that on your person so the cameras can't tell you had a parcel. Oh! Wait, they're gonna see him go in with a suit and see him come out as a... Not even gonna question. Okay. No one ask questions, please. I have literally no answers to give you. Uh... Find... Utility Android. He was round here, I believe. Nope, I've just gone round the wrong side, haven't I? Oh, Utility, where are you? Not here. On to the next one. Excuse me, Miss Utility. Where are you? Oh, he was here last time. Where would he have gone? 
Um, well, I thought that was footsteps. It's just dust motes, maybe. You're not utility. Are we not- have we not learned that warfare does not need more gadgets? Where is the utility android? Where has he gone off to? Never say those words. I'm not such a believer in fate and all that stuff, but I do believe they're not chancing it. Just in case, because you never know. Ah, here's his trolley. Now, where is he? No wonder I couldn't find you. I need your help. Steel maintenance cart. I can do that. Oh, it's snowing. It wasn't snowing when I came in, was it? Oh, da 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 do. Where is the fire escape? Um. Where would a fire escape be? You see nothing. Fire escape, fire escape, fire escape. Aha, here it is! Fire escape. Hello, little robot. Just doing your boop 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 job. Wow, we are... How does she know where she's going? Sorry, bumped into you with my trolley. We are full on heisting this building, and I am very much Shit. approving. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. I need to get them away from the server room, so maybe if I make the coffee machine beep. Dum -da -dum. No one sees anything. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. Aren't you gonna bring your. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. There we go. Um, I've never done a proper heist before, so this should be... Sorry, I have to take the thing out of the doohickey. Not inspect a gadget with all the things in their hands. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, I've seen these. These actually exist well. I am not entirely certain how much uh, you stick to glass. Well planned. You should probably put the glass back just in case so there's an um 
ladies first. Oh good, they aren't just casually spider manning up the wall. I am so impressed with this. Hang on, hang on, no, don't climb yet. Do the glass, budge. Do the glass, or they're immediately gonna know something is wrong. Grab. There are officers behind there. Be aware that they can hear you. Oh, Jesus Christ and Nora. I was not expecting to abseil a building today. This is some... Does that look like the Disney logo or is it me? Uh, or the Daily Mail? I can't. It's one of them. What's up? This is very cool, but also very anxiety-inducing. Oh, I hate open spaces. I hate them. Oh. Excuse me, say what? But you don't have any of the suction cup thing to hold on to it so it doesn't just fall. Oh, there are people on the other side. Nope. Be careful. That made noise. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. I didn't expect this, but I'm I'm enjoying it. I thought they were gonna like plug something into the big screens. I wasn't expecting them to do this. But I'm glad they've got new outfits now. Let's do this. Oh yeah, what oh they are. Where where did he get his suit from? Just checking if there's anything else in here for me. Wait. Oh, I see. That's the door. Hang on. Let me investigate the the room first. There might be something in here we can use. No. Okay. In I go. Excuse me. Hope you don't mind. I'm just going to bust through your door. Oh, I thought it'd give me like a tin of something or a media file. I like that gadget. Is there anyone there? I don't see anyone. That sound doesn't mean good things for me. Deal with gods. No killing. Oh. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you I'm want gonna to do, try not to kill. Wait here. I'm sorry, North. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Sent! Damn it, I was trying to draw them away. I thought that was the ruse. They know we're here now. You better be fast. Damn it. Simon, the shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Come on, we got this. You get on the wheelie chair, we'll push you. Mm. 
Please wipe the blood off your mouth. I don't believe this is necessarily the right way to do it. Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! Um... Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! No. There was no other choice. I'm sorry. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to move, but it's having a moment, I believe. Excuse me. Marcus's speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Oh, no. Marcus, your face. I thought it was literally going to... Tell me when you're ready. 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 Oh! Admired. Friend. Calm. No aggression here. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. I mean, I want to say equal rights, but women don't even have those. And we are of the same species. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Territory as well. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. We are peaceful, but don't think we won't break you. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Why is the door locked? Simon! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go I'm without me! I'm not leaving one behind! Simon! You're my friend! What are you doing? Hurry! Oh. No, you're not! You're my friend! You're coming too! Close the door, close the door, close the door! Come on! Come on, Simon! Block. Come on, Simon! I can't move my legs. Okay, it's don't fine. worry. We can rebuild them later. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him, he's one of us. Simon, what Marcus, do you want your to call. do?
I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. You're my friend. Come on. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. But he can, if he wants to, it's his choice. Our scheduled programming to bring you these images this which have dick. just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? They're not yours. <sighs> oh God. Peacefully. Shoot operator. Oh, I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but we had to finish the broadcast. Almost did leave Simon. I didn't want to shoot. Jump. Media reacts. Ah. Oh. I. <sighs> I didn't want to shoot Simon, but at least I left him with a gun, so if need be, he knows the stakes, he can do it himself if need be, otherwise he can defend himself. Um, and uh, the public and hostile, mm, that bothers me, that really bothers me. But I don't know if I can or how, if it's even an option to fix it right now. Ugh. Detroit, how you stress me. And yet I continue to love you. This is, this is an abusive relationship, I think. I can see the detail on his eyes and it's beautiful. Have a very lovely day, and most importantly of all, you do you.